Let's talk a little bit about the expectations that Americans have surrounding their tax refunds this year. What kind of data did you collect in your survey on this topic? We found that about 7 in 10 people expecting refunds are worried about those refunds, unfortunately. The most common fear is that the money won't stretch as far this year because of inflation. That does sound like a reasonable concern. The second biggest worry, which was a close call, um, is that the refund will be smaller this year. And unfortunately, that's probably true as well. A lot of the pandemic era tax breaks have expired. And so far, the average tax refund is 11 percent lower than the same time last year. What does that uh, average refund thus far clock in at? So far this year, it's $3,140 per filer. So that's actually a significant chunk of money. I think that's an important point here. I mean, even if that's 11% smaller than last year, it's still a nice chunk of change and welcome money for people, especially given how pricey everything seems to be these days. Now, I guess I should be obligated to point out that it's really your money better to adjust your withholding so that you get it in bits and pieces throughout the year. Sure. But nonetheless, a lot of people like the feel of that lump sum distribution. What are the top goals that people are planning on using their tax refunds for this year? The biggest is to pay down debt, which I think is a great choice, especially credit card debt. With that average rate around 20%, Using some or all of your tax refund to pay off that credit card debt is a wise choice. A close second in our survey was to boost your savings, and I think that's very smart as well. Obviously, saving more is always a good thing, um, but I think especially now, if you don't have savings and you have day-to-day -day expenses outpacing your paycheck or if you have some kind of unexpected expense, that's just going to land on the credit card, and then it starts that vicious debt cycle all over again. So I actually think for most people, maybe doing some of both would be a good choice. Maybe mm -hmm. use some of the money for debt payoff and some to boost your savings. Are you seeing anything out there in terms of differences in how Americans of different ages view their tax refunds? Millennials and Gen Zers are the most likely to value this money and also the most likely to be worried about something going wrong with their refund this year. I think it speaks to the financial pressures that young adults are under, you know, rapidly increasing home prices and rents, high cost of raising kids, the looming resumption of student loan payments. I think all these things have young adults especially eager to get their hands on their tax refund money this year. Very good. Ted, appreciate you joining us today. Thanks so much for the time. No problem. Thanks for having me.